Hi guys. You know, some days, there's, it's a very fine principle. Some days, either they start great and they end badly, or they start badly and they end great. Our situation is first. We had the first one where today started great. Beautiful morning. Things are going well. Baby Vasya, starting up. We got a Moldavian flag. Got a Moldavian flag, yeah. Went to go visit a fort that looks like this. It was beautiful, очень красиво. But uh, then things flipped on us. I guess we deserved it. I don't know what we did to deserve it, but we deserved it. We and so right now we are in the small village. I don't even know what town we're in. Otachi? Otachi. Otachi. I, I think it's Otachi. Otachi. Yeah, yes. I don't know. Otachi. Otachi means good luck in but Russian, but I know it's very different. Odachi and Otachi. This is Otachi. And um, yeah, okay, so let me. <laughs> I'm trying to think, where do I even begin? Okay, first off, let me drive you to the border, and then we'll explain what happened. <laughs> yeah, he did. Bye-bye. Okay. He became, he became, I'm sorry, he became absolutely professional, Zhiguli driver, Loya driver, absolutely professional. So proud. That is, that is the most enduring compliment I've heard, so. Yes, I, I, I you know, as a, as a post-Soviet citizen, um, like, this is very important skill that you need in your life. Look, and there's these ladders that are just tempting us. Everybody With their existence! By the way, guys, I bought this. <laughs> it does this sound. <whistles> but when it's the water inside, it's much better. But we will continue. <laughs> okay, so, um, first off, I wanted to show you guys the surroundings. We are in the nondescript heart of Eastern Europe, where Look around. This, this, this is what everything looks like. Everything is destroyed, dilapidated, outdated. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to go to the border and film the border security right in front of their face. But uh, the border is right up here, right next to this beautiful nondescript. I have no idea what that even is. Don't even know what it says because it's missing letters. But um, okay, so what happened is we we're trying to figure out uh, the registration to take our vehicle across to uh, Ukraine. And the long and short, it was very, very complicated. And everybody's speaking solely Ukrainian uh, because in protest, no one wants to speak a single word of Russian. So it makes it a little bit more difficult. We get to the border and it turns out the long and short is that Anna, as a Ukrainian citizen, cannot take a vehicle in. She needs in to- In Ukraine, uh, we want to mention that. I am a Ukrainian citizen, they cannot take a vehicle in As Ukraine. a foreigner, you can take it in. And so the problem is that when we bought the car, it's registered under Anna's name, blah, blah, because blah. Because we thought it was going to be easier. Uh, anyway, so they told us, no, you can't take your vehicle across. You need to go to a notary and go change it to my registration. And then later on, you need to come back to the border to come deregister it, blah, 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 blah. Oh, it was such a headache. And so now we're stuck. And the sun, as you can see, is set. Now, uh, it is set now. And uh, so then we came into the next quandary, the next level of our problem that we can't really drive the lot at night. It's it's not safe. Yeah. Uh, the lights are very, this doesn't really, and the roads are just horrible. Uh, hello, sir. Okay, sure. Um, so we're starting to look around this village. This village is so small, there's nothing here. And so let me take you to the next phase of our story. There you go. Let's continue. Давай, <laughs> oh. I'm becoming like proper Soviet man. I just change this out for oi. Ow! <laughs> Welcome to Moldova, kids. This is the border. Nothing happens here. Okay, let's see if we can make the turn. Okay. Okay, Shiguri. Also, I say it. With it. I, I say it in the most um, respectful way that this village is just completely full of gypsies. There's. Nothing, there's no, nothing there's else, really nobody, nothing oh, nobody here except gypsies. Look, yeah. at, I mean, you can take a look. Everybody here is a gypsy. Okay, so uh, we just drive a little bit up the hill and we get to the city center. Let's go take a look at the city center, kids. Yeah, you should see it. You should see it. If you haven't been to city center of Otachi, then you haven't seen the world. Ah, Dubai! Baby Vasya. This is Baby Vasya, by the way. Okay, here is... Dubai. Okay, so now we are surrounded by Soviet apartments. But the reason that I bring you guys here, this tells you everything you need to know about this part of Moldova, this part of the world, really. It's one of the only places, actually, when you get to Ukraine, even, this doesn't exist, just across the border. 
but in Moldova, of course, this would exist. But look what we have right here. A statue of Lenin, of course. Look at this, look at this boy. Standing here, so innocent. Innocent. <laughs> He's all rusted out and everything. Uh, for, uh, um, for reasons I don't understand, uh, in this part of the world, in this country, they still let Lenin statues still stay up. Because in, in Ukraine, right across the border, almost all of them are taken down. Anyway, so I'll come back here in just a sec. Here's the gypsy hangout. Of course, as always. But uh, the next part of your grand tour of Otachi, I promise guys, I'm not going to hit you. It's right here. Welcome to your next tourist site. Let me put on my blinkers. Um, so this is our village World War II monument. What I really want you to do, hi guys, Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Amazing. I love how he looked at our lotto, just like... Everybody does, nobody believes that we bought a lotto. It's, it's really incredible. Every single person we go talk to, every single person, they cannot believe that we bought Juguli. They're all like, did you rent it? And, and every single person, police, old men, the babushkas, they all want to know, how much did you pay? How much did you pay? Because they all want to know if we got ripped off. And apparently we paid a reasonable amount, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, Anna, I'll zoom in here. Um, but can you please uh, translate uh, what this monument says? This monument says, stop, lay your head down for, for the heroes that fell and give their life for the light sky that you have above you. Okay, so um, as you can see, like we said, it is it is getting dark out. Hello, lights. Okay, so Photoshop. Um, it is getting dark out, and so the next thing we had to do was uh, was figure out where we're going to stay. Um, Anna, would you please hold this? Yeah, sure. Okay, now I want you guys to know. I'll show you a map of what this part of Moldova looks like. As you know, there is nothing around. There's absolutely nothing. <laughs> the next closest village is at least one hour away. Um, I really don't know how this border exists here, but alas, it must exist. Um, anyway, so I go onto my phone and I look up, okay, hotel, hotel. The closest hotel it shows is one hour away. And I'm like, no, that's not gonna work. We need a hotel. And there must be, there. also in Russian speaking lands and Slavic USSR lands, you never say hotel, that's your travel tip of the day. Hotel doesn't exist in Slavic lands. You always say guest house, the guest house. Um, you'll never find a hotel in Russia. You'll always find a guest house. Anyway, so um, uh, then we have to start finding our hotel. Uh, as we said, no hotel exists. And so the answer that you always have to do is go talk to the babushkas. So we go talk to the babushka, the, the local village babushka, babushka who sh she's in a wheelchair. And we're asking her, where is the guest house? She did tell us that there is one place. And she explained, just go by the church, go past Lenin, and you'll find the, the, <laughs> this is such a comical idea. I can't believe this is happening to us. But um, yeah, so then she said the guest house is right beyond Lenin. And uh, so we go over there and I'm looking on my phone. I'm like, can I find anything? And I did find one small pin that said in Russian, Atel, Atel. Atel, Atel is which is it's actually, it's, it's interesting because uh, it's even, it's even written incorrectly, grammatically incorrect in Russian language. This? So. This is Atel, okay? Atel. Atel is in Otachi, Moldova, okay? Now, I want you guys to see the photos. Let's take a look at the rooms. Oh, look, there's no photos of the rooms. Who am I kidding? There's only one review. This, I'm not even kidding you guys. This is the one review. Worst hotel in my life. <laughs> one star. Worst hotel in my life. And I, we think, We have literally how? no options. The next closest hotel is one hour away and we can't drive one. And it's just like, what options do we have now? Oh. What do we do? So there, the hotel is like right in the, is it in the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like an abandoned building, but uh, I don't know how, like, how can it get even worse? And again, this is when you get your word of the day. I have to bleep it out again. I'm sorry. Isn't it ya? Exactly. That's the end. We were thinking, oh, there's the restaurant here. Let's go. Oh, it's, it's abandoned. Zakrita. It's Zakrita. It's not, it's not Zakrita. It's abandoned. Zakrita. Abandoned. Okay, here's our church. Here's Lenin. Okay, here's our, our amazing dog. hotel. Can you see this building? Watch out this dog. is hotel. Okay, guys, cool it. Oh, come on, come on! Don't freaking! You want to kill yourself? Здравствуйте. 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 Well, this is our hotel. Can you see that building? I'm so excited. 
I'm so excited. I cannot be more excited than today. Okay, well, look, okay, we do have a sign for the, the local village burglar. Okay, Amazing. very good. Should okay, I, let's should go. I turn off baby boss here? Should yeah, I? you should turn off. Okay, have a good, we, we learned another rule. You know, this car is the car that taught me how to be a mechanic. So thank you, Lare Juguli. Um, I, one thing that I learned is that before I turn it off, I pump in the choke. Apparently Lada has a choke. And uh, I pump it a lot, get some gas in there, and then turn it off. So the gas, so the gas is inside and waiting for the next time we start it up. Okay. Baby boss here, have a good sleep. Spoken not shit. Let's go and check out, check out the worst hotel ever in this uh, in this in this world. Uh, Brandon, where did you take me to? I I really can't believe that this is happening. It's uh, what a day, what a day. Okay, let's go check out this hotel. Let's go. Zakrita, I don't know. No. Does it work? No, no, it works, but there are no, uh, no rooms uh, available. I think there are just no rooms there. I think it's just abandoned. Can you ask him? Are you sure that there's no rooms? Нет, нет по свободных или просто нет uh -huh, uh -huh. So there, she's saying that there are no clean rooms, like people left and nobody came to clean it yet. Tell them it's no problem, we can change the sheets. There's nowhere else to stay. Oh, he said that uh, there are no rooms available right now. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of swear words. I'm gonna have to beep all that out. There is no other places uh, here except this one in this village, but uh, right now it's not available. It looks like freaking abandoned. I think that he just say, he just saying that like because I think he says that for last two years that the older rooms are, are just dirty. Yeah, because it's abandoned. That's why it's dirty. <laughs> he's, he's not on yet. I know not. <laughs> okay, well I guess we hit back into Baby Vasya. Hopefully Baby Vasya starts back up. Um, but uh, before we leave, I, I do need to show you guys this. This is your, your village uh, news that, board? What is this thing? This guy? I don't know. He was, what kind of crime did he do? I don't know. Oh, he old, stole something. Game. Yeah. Oh, well, bad guy. Bad guy. Let's go. Okay, let's keep driving. Let's actually... I, I am almost willing to... I'm almost willing to place money on it. But I'm pretty sure Baby Vasya is not going to um, oh, come to life. I'm pretty confident of it. Okay, everybody, on the count of three, we're all going to say a prayer together, okay? All right, one, two, two three. three. Niet. Amazing. And now you guys are have to, you have to watch Mechanic Anna <laughs> to do her work. Okay, Mechanic Anna. Wow, this is such a great learning moment for you guys. You get to see what this is actually like. Okay, so what we're going to do is... First, we're gonna pop the hood, okay? And then I'll wait for Anna so she can actually- uh, Prepare get, for my work. <laughs> get the other end. Um, yeah. So this is, this is the, uh, the hood latch, okay? All right. Now, what our mechanic Anna is going to do amongst oh, yeah. all of this beautiful stuff. So first off, she's gonna put on her gloves because this job involves electrocuting yourself, okay? And then our working material is this. This, this is our working wire. material. Um, yeah, it's just some wire that's been put back together. It's burned at the ends, as you can see. Because we used it already. Okay, okay. you ready? So Let's now go what eat. she's going to do? I have to okay. disconnect this blue and red. Kadashini, wires. Sini. I have to disconnect Easy. it. Okay. okay. We put. Now we take our burnt out wire. Our burnt out wire. Put one Let's wire. Say you shove it way deep inside the wire. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another one. You have to go inside the car, or maybe it's just start itself. Another one. We put on the, our battery on plus. Okay. And it does not start! <laughs> Hypothetically, it should start. Which... Tika! Again, again. This is our Virgin Mary that was supposed to help us. Supposed to help us. 
Actually, we have three of them. Bye bye, bye bye. Yet, yet. Almost. Almost. Oh. I heard her come just a little bit. It was very close, very close for a second, but the problem is that the wire starts to burn out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pump the engine to push some fuel in. So kids, just so you know, this is where that goes in. Anna is, Anna is a mechanic. She's very smart. I am, I know I am. <laughs> Don't forget to tie your hair up over there so that it doesn't burn your entire body. Molly bits, molly bits. Push out the Tika. And that's how we did not fix it. <laughs> the only other answer is when this happens, when you have a lot of like this, is you just have to let it sit. You have to let it cool down. Uh -huh, mechanic. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> we can go give Stalin a high five. We can the dogs are even happy. <laughs> oh my god, we're dead! Molly this, molly this. These hands. Molly this. Oh my god. Okay. And now we're just going to uh, now we're just going to drive to the next village. It's going to be dark, but hopefully we'll find a hotel, a hotel guest house. Hopefully, okay. I'll see you guys later. Okay, and so as you can see, it's dark now, and the solutions all ran out. All of the hotels, nothing was open. Nothing was nothing available. Closest things like an hour and a half away. Just. Impossible. So the solution is that we're gonna go sleep in Ukraine. The problem is baby Lada is not allowed to go to Ukraine yet. And so uh, She has to stay here baby Vasya. And so we figured uh, I really don't mean in, in a racist way I'm, I'm, I'm a very understanding honest good person, but this area is completely full of uh, gypsies and in, in shanty houses And so it's really not a safe area to leave your car just full stop And that's what everyone here all the villagers all say that like every single person like even here We asked this hotel this cafe Actually, this is a cafe pub disco. But we asked him if we can leave the car here and he's like, yeah, yeah, you can just park it under the light so we can see it, uh, but watch out because there's gypsies, is literally what he said. So um, we figured the best anti-stealing anti, uh, deterrent, so I parked it in, a, in an inconvenient spot so they can't push it. Um, but then, uh, since we know Baby Vasya, Pajalista, yeah. uh, that what we can do is that we can disconnect. disconnect the wire, that's what we did. Wires. Now we'll disconnect the Brilliant, wire. brilliant. So, so they, they just cannot start it. And, you know, the good thing about Baby Vasya is that only her owners know how to start it. So, Spoken noche. Spoken noche, Baby Vasya. Locked. Locked. Nothing in there, except all the parts to build a new Lada. Locked. Locked. So, let's go. Let's go to Ukraine. Yeah. Bye-bye. She's standing right there.
We're gonna miss you, Bibi Wasa, but we'll come back for you. No worries. Hopefully. I really hope she <laughs> I really hope she sleeps well. I really do. Because I I really kind of have low hopes. But um somehow I, and you know we kissed the Virgin Mary before we left uh, and we knocked on wood. We got a wood one just so we can knock on wood and kiss it. But um somehow if baby Vasi gets stolen, it seems like the perfect end story for uh <laughs> for her life. For her life, yeah. Uh, She's traveling terrible over her motherland. That's all she needed. She she traveled her entire motherland and uh, the great end story is that she disappeared to the gypsies and I have no idea where she went. She went to a better place But hopefully I don't have to say that hopefully <laughs> Okay, we have to we have to come back and I just really hope that we're gonna find her. I really really hope Okay, we'll go walk by Lenin and then we'll cross to Ukraine Spokonoche I know the feeling. That's a lot of 2109. Yeah. We are experts in that as now. Yeah, we are. Sir, I know all your struggles. I Unfortunately, it's too late for us to help you. No, we are, I'm too tired actually to help people. We, um, and every Lada has its own unique disabilities. True. <laughs> so uh, he's just gonna be sitting there all night. It's really unfortunate. But um, we did call the hotel. Oh, lovely. I thought that stray dog was eating something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a dead body. Um, uh, we did call this hotel. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Um, okay, so uh, we did call the hotel, and bye bye. It's a Dacia. A Dacia is the Romanian lawnmower. Just so you guys know. Um, we did call the hotel, and they said that they only have one room left in Ukraine, and we told them we'll be there in maximum. I promise. 20, 30, 40 minutes will be there. So, um. Привет! Здравствуйте! Все хорошо? Все нормально? Супер, все супер. Okay. Uh, English. Yeah, American eats. Меня девушка, меня жена, украинский. У меня собака, у меня кошка. Собака, кошка? Yes, bro. Класс! <laughs> Amazing. This day is just, it's a really, ama you know, I, we, I can never decide if the bad days are the good days or the good days are the bad days. I don't know. Okay, let's go to Ukraine. That's thunder. I hope you guys hear that. What is going on? I really don't know. Very good, very good. Very good. Good evening. Good evening. They're fun people, I guess. I don't know if you guys can see, but all the power lines are zapping because of the rain. Big thunderstorm rolling in. Thun I, this is. But, but these people are just <laughs> celebrating something, apparently. Celebrating life, and that's the gypsy way. <laughs> okay, <laughs> one day we'll get to Ukraine. The border is here. Oh my god. Amazing. This, this day couldn't end up any better. Love it. Love it. <laughs> it's amazing. We're almost to Ukraine. Ukraine is right here. The shiny light at the end of the dark, rainy bridge. And as you can see, Ukraina, Ukraina. <laughs> Oi! Oh! 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 I can never tell if the day is getting worse or if it's getting funnier. I'll decide later. Oh. Ah. oh my god! Oh, it's the hotel! I'm completely soaked! Hotel! Oh, oh. The thunder is coming! You hear it? Okay. 
Well, as you can hear, the uh, the air raid sirens are going off. Uh, so either that means a huge tornado is coming, or uh, missiles are about to land. So uh, uh, welcome back to Ukraine, officially. <laughs> and, uh, we are we are sufficiently soaked. Both of us are just hundred percent. Welcome back to Ukraine. But we found a nice Feels Soviet like apartment. Home. We found a Soviet apartment, and all is good. And that is a comfortable bed for tonight. So that's where we sign off on maybe our worst day of travel ever. But sometimes the worst days are the best days. So good night from Ukraine.